Welcome to the 3D Ghost Universe, a place dedicated to 3D creation and 3D printing. In this quick video, I will show you how to transform a 2D image, a 2D drawing in black and white, into a 3D printable object using Microsoft 3D Builder. So we are now in 3D Builder and I will create a new scene in order to hide an image coming from Google Image, a simple drawing in black and white of Mickey Mouse. The image is loaded, we just have to inverse and then you have a shape, a 3D shape that you will be able to stamp for example on another object. It's okay for me, we will have a cube. Let's work on the cube in order to create a base for example. It's okay. Where is Mickey Mouse? We'll go to view to X-ray. We will move Mickey Mouse. Okay, coming out from the base. No more X-ray. Okay. You can move it, save it. STL, for example. Let's go to Ultimaker Cura. And we will, maybe we will resize it. I, I didn't check the size, it's quite huge. So on the Z axis, we will go with 10 millimeters. And that's something that you can print and that's something that you can use as a stamp, for example, or as a decoration. Or maybe you can use it as a mold for cooking or for bakering. I, I don't know. It's uh, your way to do it, your imagination. But as you can see, it's really, really simple to take a simple PNG, a simple drawing into something that you will be able to print. And when we talk about printing, we will slice the object and discover the preview. Let's go to preview. Oh, what is that? We have some missing parts of the object. That's simply because you don't have enough thickness to be print. The nozzle is probably too big. So we will go with a 0.2 nozzle. And if it don't work, it means that the object is too thick, that the object is too small to be print. So we would have to adapt the size of the object. Two hours, almost three hours. So I think that it print more things. Okay. We will go with the best quality possible, ultra quality. We will see if we have more materials. Now it's exactly the same thing. So for this object, for this kind of object, if you want everything to be print, you will have to play a little bit. You can increase the size of the drawing before transforming it in order to have bigger lines. So bigger lines will be bigger things to print or you have to adjust the size of your object. So in this case, maybe we will keep the one centimeters on the Z axis, but we will not work anymore with uniform scaling and we will go with something bigger on the X and on the Y axis in order to have no more deformation. We will go to slice. Okay, we almost have everything in this case. So to summarize, I will say that you have to play with the size of the nozzle, you have to play with the size of the object, or you have to modify the PNG or the JPEG directly in order to have a bigger drawing lines. You can do that with maybe your smartphone, with uh, maybe on the computer with Paint, Krita. This is not the point of this video. But regarding 3D printing, the other way to do it is to transform your JPEG or PNG in SVG. Part 2 will be about this. And to work with Blender, part 3 will be about this. And in part 2, you will also learn how to modify a colored image into a black and white drawing style PNG, JPEG or SVG.